Welcome to How to Doodle, where we make drawing easy. This week, we're gonna be drawing foxes. So let's get to it. This is level one, where we're gonna keep it nice and simple and neat. We're gonna start warming up our hands, warming up our hands when we get our muscles ready to draw. So let's think about a fox for a second. We wanna understand what our subject is and what shapes are within it. Art is trying to take something that's realistic and living and try to capture it on the paper and make it convincing. So if I had to describe a fox, I would probably use two really big pointy ears. You would have a sleek body that's thin at the top and thick at the bottom because of gravity. Two little lines on either side. We'll do one paw on one side, one paw on the other, and a very simple tail. Next is the detail. We have detail in the tail, detail in the tummy, and of course in the face. All right, so there's one expression. How about we do one that's looking to the side? We'll do that one over here. It's gonna be a little bit smaller. Remember, you're just getting the point across. And again, with the thin body at the top, thicker at the bottom. There you go. <laughs> all right, let's put it, let's put what we just practiced into one big drawing, all right? Now I'm gonna go slow, that way you can keep up with me, all right? Here we go. Straight line. Back and forth like that. Symmetrical on both sides. You know they're positioned right if this corner and this corner are inside the ears. Body, thin at the top, thick at the bottom. Half circle for one paw, half circle for the other paw. Big bushy tail. Add some markings and some shading. Nice! All right, you just completed level one. There you learned how to grip your pencil and how to break things down in simpler forms. That's called simplifying. All right, let's move on to level two. In level two, we're gonna use the three fundamentals of sketching. Sketching comes in three different layers. You have construction, which is the basic build of the subject you're drawing. Structure, which is the outermost edges of your subject. And detail, which is everything else that hasn't been added yet. <laughs> That's like your face and the eyes and the hairs and the patterns and all that fun stuff in there. So think of your fox again. We're gonna start with the head because the head determines the proportions of the body. Proportions just means how big or small something is when compared to another thing. So here's our head. These are called cross graphs. They show us where the head's gonna be looking. This is called an action line. It tells you what the subject is doing. This is the rib cage. It's another major structure of the body. And this is the hips. We have an action line for one arm, an action line for the other, and we'll do an action line for where I want the tail to sit. Don't forget the ears. There you go. That is construction. All right, so now we're on to structure, which is the outermost edges of your subject. This is where we start to add those shapes in that we learned about in the last stage. Using your eraser, I like the needed ones the best, lightly erase your construction. The construction will not stay. It's like the skeleton, it's hidden beneath. All right, so now we're gonna start using the shapes that we learned about in the last stage to create the structure of our fox. I like to start with the biggest details on the head, which are usually the ears draw out the face shape. And then you stop there. I know it's gonna look a little odd and you might wanna finish it out, but structure is only the outermost edges of the drawing. All right, lastly is detail, where you can finally add in all the fun stuff you've been waiting for. So let's start with this construction first.
and there you go. All right, those are the three levels of drawing that we typically work with. So once you understand the basic shapes of your subject, you can then move into the basic foundations of your sketch, which is the construction, structure, and detail. Lastly, is when we kind of put them both together into one final drawing. So we're going to take the, the understanding our subject and the basic shapes and the three fundamental sketching skills, and we're gonna smush them together into one final drawing. Now, you can feel free to draw whatever fox you wanna draw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking you step by step of how to draw one just like mine.